Howdy y'all, this is KYN and welcome back to the final uh, video of the Let's Play of Chips Challenge 2. So yes, I um, only completed two levels the last time, but uh, that was all due to um, courtesy of level 199, the penultimate level of the game. Uh, that one took far longer than I thought it would, and as a matter of fact, it, I apparently spent just two hours alone on that one level alone. Yeah, <laughs> it was that bad. Um, there's one extremely annoying um, section in there which um, it leaves absolutely no room for error at all when it comes to dodging and as a matter of fact it would be impossible without the boosting that you get from the ice um, but yeah I honestly am very confused as to why creators make lows like that where yeah they don't even leave you that much or any leg room at all or rather any wiggle room in order to like comfortably dodge uh, the monsters and everything uh, but you know, in the this justification, yeah, it is the penultimate low, so therefore, you know, they can screw you over with things like that, you know. Not gonna let you like um off very easily on these victories and everything. Yeah, just very late in the game. Yeah, even though um this final stretch of ten lows in Chips Challenge 2 is nowhere near is nowhere as long as the final ten levels of the um Chips Challenge one. Because there were several long ones, yeah, in that um uh, final batch of 10 lows, yeah, including some uh, in the final 5 lows too. Uh, here, however, these were a lot quicker, yeah, in general. Uh, there were still like at least like one or two long ones, but um, yeah, for the most part, though, um, the final stretch of 10 lows and chips challenge to go by much faster, yeah, especially since um, they're, they're pretty much all pretty short, yeah, save for the um, uh, penultimate low, I guess. And there might have been one more as well. Maybe push up maze can qualify too, but um, yeah, even that one's pretty short. Yeah, even though the low is pretty big, or rather somewhat big. But yeah, in any case, my friends, we have finally made it to the final low of Chips Challenge 2. Yes. So we are finally on the 200th and final low of the game. So it was a very long road and journey, but we finally made it. And so, yeah, in this video, I'll be um, attempting to complete the final low of the game. And then once that is done, the uh, LP will be uh, finished. So just hang in there a little longer and we'll be done. And um, once again, though, I will have to apologize for the um, some of the very long videos of the Let's Play. Yeah, there's a couple of them that are um, about two hours long. So um, yeah, uh, I guess it just comes to um, just how I was really like um, really dedicated to like uh, completing these levels without needing to like. Um, Record or rather record another video of me uh, being successful after um, spending some time off camera uh, trying to complete the low. Yeah, there was a couple of lows that needed uh, more than one video, but um, yeah, um, I tried to avoid that as much as I could. Yeah, as mentioned before though. And then there was one case where I just ended up pausing the recording. Yeah, and then I resumed. Yeah, once I was able to uh, figure out where that uh, last hidden chip was. Yeah, because it took me an extremely long time before I finally found it. And I think even as I mentioned in that video too, yeah, I don't really remember it being that frustrating in like um, not being able to find that chip because I uh, wasn't able to find the block that hit it and everything. But yeah, um, as I stated a, a couple times too, yeah, these stuff that's hidden on the blocks and everything, yeah, these, got, these eventually got pretty old. Yeah, even though... Chips Challenge 1 has a fair uh, number of lows that did that too. But uh, Chips Challenge 2 just, uh, it, it really overdid it, yeah. And honestly, those lows tend not to be any fun. That is, unless you have the Secret Eye item. Yeah, which is a Chips Challenge 2 ex exclusive uh, only item, or exclusive item. Yeah, uh, that wasn't even really like um, given on any, like, uh, like um, a plenty of lows with the game. Yeah, there was only like two lows that was provided. And same thing with the hook too. Yeah, those would have been like a real lifesaver in Chips Challenge 1 if they existed. But they're only found in Chips Challenge 2, so yeah. Um, and even then, yeah, as as you will probably see if you've been following along, yeah, drop the LP and everything. Yeah, they're only found in like two levels, so yeah. <laughs> uh, so don't really like, you know, count on it uh, for those items to like save your life you know, on those really difficult like block pushing puzzles and um, you know uh, 
you wondering where things are, yeah, because you can't find them, or you never bother to check under a block or whatever. So yeah, and then there's even one item too, yeah, just like the speed boots, yeah. I think it was only introduced in that one lesson though, and then we haven't seen it since. So yeah. Um. So needless to say, while Chips Challenge Two has a ver variety of great levels and everything, yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of the mechanics go unexplored too. So um, yeah. Um. I do believe the uh, custom level packs that you can download for Chip Challenge 2 do go into that on plenty of them. So, um, yeah, if you want to extend your knowledge, then, you know, you can play those packs and um, also maybe do some reading up on the Chip Challenge wiki and whatnot. So, yeah, anyway, that's a pretty lengthy intro, that, uh, much longer than I anticipated here. So, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the final level now. Yeah, you know, let's just go ahead and finish up the LP and get it out of the way. So, yeah, I already read the pretext the last time, yeah, for the previous video. Yeah, at the very long, at the end of the very long uh, two-hour video. So, let's go ahead and jump into Level 200, Crazy 2 by Somerville uh, Maurice. Yeah, so as you can see, this is just a sequel to Level 100, which was called Crazy. And the premise is, is exactly the same. Yeah, there's like, I believe there's 26 rooms, yeah, in which you need to solve some kind of circle bomb. Uh, puzzle, yeah, in like very very small rooms and everything, and uh, you know it is very easy to screw up as a result. Um, but um, luckily, just like level 100, though, you just need to complete four rooms, yeah, in order to finish the level. Yeah, it's not necessary to complete all 26 rooms. Um, so really, if you're just concerned with just finishing the level, then you can just um, complete four rooms with um, one a different color key each. Yeah, and that's exactly what I'm going to do here, because honestly, yeah, just like level 100, I'm not, like, super good, yeah, in uh, being able to solve these rooms very quickly. And I think in contrast to level 100, though, uh, there is a section where, um, um, I think according to the wiki, after three hours, it opens up, and then um, you have, like, a limited time to, like, collect them, I believe, before it closes again or something like that, I think. Um, but yeah, it's like I said, um, I'm not going to wait the three hours out, and... Um, Again, I'm not, like, fast or good enough to, like, solve all 26 rooms. So, yeah, therefore, I'm just going to concern myself with the minimum minimum of four rooms you have solved in order to complete the law, and therefore the entire game. So, yeah, with that, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started now. So, um, this is room six with, uh, Rick Key here. Uh, okay, well, it's not really possible to push the bottom block up, is it? Um, hmm. I mean, you can only push the left one up, can you? Yeah, otherwise, uh, you'll, you'll pretty much get everything else trapped and everything. Yeah, and then I do believe you'll have to, like, do something with this over here. Um... see push that up and then to the left yeah then eventually you're gonna get some stuff trapped it appears uh hmm and then, yeah if it decides to push it one more space then it's not gonna help at all um Yeah, because if I push this one up, then... Ah, this one has a secret eye item, but it doesn't really matter, I don't think, because there isn't really anything hidden underneath the blocks, I think. Uh, let's see. Yeah. These are all pretty small rooms to work in, so therefore, yeah, these are extremely difficult uh, circle bomb puzzles. Just like uh, level 100. Um, hmm. Uh, 
Um, yeah, because if I push this up, then I can only push it to the left. Um, I mean, if I push it back to where it was before. Yeah, then there isn't much that I can do here, I don't think. Can't even push it to the edge over here. Yeah, wow, well, getting something trapped. <laughs> um. This is a pretty unforgiving one. Um, because, yeah, if I push it over a block over here, I wouldn't be able to push it up. Because I have no way to get down here to do so. Um, wow, this is um, taking me a while to figure out. Yeah, if I even... Um, if it even still can't be figured out. Because I don't even know if I managed to screw up already. Yeah, but even then, yeah, we could always go to the other, other rooms, you know. Um, just because you botch one room up doesn't necessarily mean the entire level is botched. Um, yeah, and if I push that top block to the right, then can I still do anything else here? Yeah, and then I can push this one over here, but uh, yeah, I'm, I won't be able to get over here after. Yeah, I don't know. I can't shake the feeling that I've already managed to uh, mess this one up. I really can't shake that feeling. Yeah, because once you put your block over here, yeah, then you can't free it at all. So, I don't know. Maybe I did mess up already. But again, it doesn't necessarily botch the entire level. You know what? I'm just gonna go to a different room. Okay, this one doesn't look any easier either. Hmm. Um. Um, yeah, because if I push that up. Then... Yeah, but the part can, I mean... Uh... Oh, wait, I can't push it all the way to over there, can I? At least with the current situation. Uh, but if I get this, okay, 
Yeah, then I'll be able, be able to push this one to the top left. Yeah, the one that, that's above Chip. Um... Yeah, I'm trying to make sure that I don't screw this up. Uh... Yeah, because then I push this over to the right. Then, yeah, I can't push it to the button above. Uh... This one took a bit longer than it needed to, to figure it out. Okay, so we have a red key now. Is this thing hard or what? Yeah, <laughs> same hand as um, uh, the one from low 100. Yeah, the original crazy low. And yeah, there's this timer that I was talking about. Yeah, this is the one that will open up after about three hours. Because I believe that it, uh, that is a nerf from what it originally was before. Because before it, it used to be um, three days, yeah, rather than three hours. Um, let me see where where are the red rooms. I mean the red locks though. I mean that's not going to help us. That red box there is not going to help us to any other room. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then what's this one? This was a yellow key. Yeah, luckily you get to choose. Yeah, pick and choose. Yeah, which rooms you want to complete here, so... And again, yeah, if you're just concerned with completing the load, then you just need to complete a minimum of four rooms. Um... Um, yeah, this one's stuck over here, so therefore, this block goes onto one of these two buttons over here. Well, these two on the other hand, any of these two can go onto this button over here. Uh... I'm just gonna start by maybe pushing this one down. Um, then you can also push this one over. Then let me see, can I push this one up? And then uh, if I push that one to the right, um, Um... Yes, because if I push that one to the right and then up to that button, then that block I can push down twice. Um... And then that should do it, I would think. So if I did this, okay, this one wasn't too bad. Okay, that's already two rooms, so therefore we're already halfway through. At least even in terms of uh, completing the low. Yeah, but you want like the full bonuses and all. Yeah, then you have to do all 26 rooms successfully. Uh, 
I'm just gonna try to find the yellow locks. Oh yeah, there appears to be several uh, logic gate timers here. Uh, where are the where are the yellow locks? The ones that will lead to like different rooms and everything. Um, as a matter of fact, I think the um, three hours logic gate is would be at the very very bottom of the low. Yeah, I don't think it's necessary over here. Okay, and then the blue lock is over here. Um, I mean, the blue key is over here. Um, oh, there's a deep monster, but um, it can't get to us, so don't worry. Um, I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. Might look a little tricky. This one might look a little tricky as well. Yeah, if I push this down, then yeah, these two blocks will be trapped. Yeah, so really the only way to start would be to be to push this one down. Twice it appears in the Um let's see, and then we'll probably have to push this block afterwards. I don't know. I don't know if I managed to mess this up. Yeah, and if we push any of the blocks down here, then we can't free them, so... Um, let's see, if we push this over to the left. Yeah, then we have to push this one over to the right. So, it might have to be something like this, probably. This one wasn't too bad. Alrighty, one more room to go. Let's do it. Wait, does this lead to only one green key? No, I think there's more up there actually. Uh, yeah, there's several over here that you can pick. Okay, um...
Um. I mean, the way to start would be to do this block, I guess. Okay, uh, I think uh, this might be clear as to where each block needs to go, because um, this block, for example, uh, can only go to this one. And then similarly, this one is forced to go here, because you can't push this to the left at all. So therefore, it's very clear where these blocks, which buttons these blocks need to go on. Now the question is, how do you achieve that? Um... Yeah, unless my logic has been screwy here, but um, I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure what I described is correct, though. See if we can still salvage this or whatnot. Yeah, if I did this, for example. Uh, yeah, because if I then push this down here, then free the other block by pushing it out. Um, I probably wouldn't be able to do much here. Um, hmm. Uh... <clears throat> oh wait, I think I see it. So, if I do that... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and I don't know why I'm collecting the chips, but, uh... Uh, whatever. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna find these two dead end here. So, yeah, we just need to retrace our steps. Uh, actually, it's more over here, but yeah, it's also dead end. Yeah, let's get out of here. What do you say? <laughs> So there you have it. So my final score is uh, 10,359,995. Finished score. Yeah, as, as I mentioned, 10,359,995. Chip and Melinda have completed the challenge. They are true puzzle masters.
Yeah, total score 10,359,995. Press any key to restart. And yeah, and then it just brings you back to uh, what the text said uh, when you start a new game and everything. So yes, there you guys have it. Uh, this is Chip Challenge 2, everybody. So all 200 levels completed. Yeah, finally. Uh, and this includes the uh, week break that I need to take here yeah, just to recover from COVID and everything. So yeah, I do apologize for the lapse in the videos there. But um, yeah, again, um, that was necessary because I was recovering. Um, as I've always said, yeah, health comes first. So. Um, um, like I said, yeah, it's been a long run and journey, but we finally made it. Yeah, all two of the lows completed. So, yes, it is a pretty long game, yeah, despite the fact that uh, uh, plenty of lows and Chips Challenge 2 are far shorter and uh, smaller than uh, the Chips Challenge 1 lows. Uh, but uh, as you might expect, too, uh, there are also some long and difficult lows uh, mixed in between as well. Uh, especially near the very end. Yeah, some of these get long and difficult, too, so. Um, and some of them even require you to like think outside the box in order to um, come up with come up with a solution. So um, yeah, um, there, there's also a lot of things that the game doesn't really teach you either. And I guess you're like forced to like discover these things on your own. Uh, you know, in particular, uh, as I've already mentioned, that thing with the red teleport, being able to override the uh, exit direction. Yeah, I think that's very very unfair. Yeah, for the game to expect the player to figure it out because um um yeah uh you would think that the, uh, the old teleports work the exact same way yeah in that it's not possible to override yeah the exit direction so um and even worse is that they don't even teach you that in the tutorial lesson either yeah for when they introduce the red teleport so yeah so honestly for a player to figure that out it's a really really big leap and uh therefore yeah uh, because it's never taught anywhere. Yeah, it's very, very unfair in my opinion. And as a matter of fact, I don't remember if I was able, to, ever able to figure that out on my own. Yeah, I think I might have. Yeah, actually, because I think I'd rather not looking up any solutions. Yeah, to any of these levels. Yeah, while I uh, first played the game back in 2015. Um, yeah, even the one that I was very tempted to look up. Yeah, level 191, push up maze. Yeah, that one I kept it all together and, and resisted. And eventually was able to figure it out, I'm pretty certain. Um, yeah, it's just really a low that really looked impossible. Yeah, but uh, really, it's just all a matter of doing the low correctly so that you are able to access every room and then uh, review a hidden item under a block that will uh, help you bypass um, uh, what you did before uh, around the socket area and everything. Because that allows you to open two blue locks. Yeah, because uh, whether you play as Chip or, or Melinda, you cannot use a blue key indefinitely. But uh, there is more than one blue key in the level. Yeah, you just don't realize it until um, you know you're able to uh, access every area in that room uh, in that level. Um, but other than that, though, yeah, Chip Sounds Two. Yeah, I gotta say it's still a pretty overall amazing game and everything. Yeah, despite its very long length and. Uh, some levels being very, very frustrating on execution and whatnot. Um, though I got to say, yeah, some of them were pretty interesting in their own, uh, on their own though. Yeah, uh, just um, all about monster dodging and uh, some of the, some of the pretexts are are amusing too. Yeah, to like read and um, just to advance the plot and everything. Yeah, if you can consider uh, the game to have a plot and and stuff. Um, so. It kind of tells you, yeah, that the creators of the game must have had a lot of fun, yeah, writing them up and uh, even making some of these levels too. Yeah, even if um, some of them can uh, still be very frustrating on the execution. Yeah, because some of them just come down to execution only because, uh, you know, a lot of these levels uh, don't require any chips to be collected, but rather just have you uh, solve puzzles, yeah, in order to allow you to um, exit um, and complete the low. Um, but yeah, I got to say, um, at least there's a, a huge variety of uh, level types here, yeah, as compared to uh, Chip Challenge 1, for example. Yeah, a lot of the really long and difficult ones from that game, yeah, just involve a lot of block pushing and um, just really tricky puzzles to um, figure out and everything. But uh, even then, yeah, Chip Challenge 1 is still like an overall simpler game just because there are less mechanics. Yeah, um, for example, you only have uh, four, four boots to uh, worry about. And in that game, yeah, the um, uh, the thing about dropping those boots, yeah, never ever comes up. Yeah, and it's not 
and it's not required too. So therefore, yeah, you don't have to worry about doing that. Yeah, whereas in chip challenge too, yeah, you are expected to uh, remember, yeah, that you can drop items in order to, uh, for example, redirect monsters, yeah, to other areas to help you complete uh, puzzles in those rooms. And um, it also extends the types of those that you can make too, because um, um, it's not always possible to complete the puzzles yourself. Yeah, as either Chip or Melinda. And so you have to rely on the monsters to, to do it for you. Um, but yeah, um, there are a huge variety of puzzles in Chip Sounds too. Yeah, it at least keeps the game very interesting. Um, um, yeah, while some of the mechanics are deeply explored and everything, not all of them are, though. So um, if you want to um, go further into in depth with them, yeah, then just download and play the custom level packs, which I haven't done with Chip Sounds too yet anyway. Uh, although I was um, given download to one of the custom packs by a uh, Discord member at the Lemmings forums. Um, yeah, I guess he is huge on the uh, Chips Challenge games as well, so uh, therefore he made a custom level pack for, for Chips Challenge 2. I don't know if he, if he ever made any for Chips Challenge 1 though. Yeah, I never really asked him, I don't think. Um, but in any case, yeah, I think maybe uh, sometime I will go to his level pack as well. Yeah, uh, the member that I'm referring to here is Mobius, um, and I believe the, um, there are a couple of videos on his little pack as well. Yeah, I think Wafflem, yeah, ended up playing a bit of it, uh, but I don't think he ever completed it. Uh, I could be wrong though. Um, so yeah, um, there you have it. This is Ship Sounds 2, everybody. So um, if you've been following along since the beginning, uh, I, I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you very much for doing so. But uh, once again, I do apologize for some of the really long videos, yeah, especially the ones that are two hours long. Um, yeah, really, I was just really uh, focused on uh, completing the lows, yeah, as best as I could, so that I don't need to like uh, do another video on the same low uh, later on. Uh, even though that ended up happening for a couple of lows here, yeah, throughout the let's play. Um, but yeah, as usual, like I've uh, been, I'm saying over and over, it's been a long rolling journey but we finally made it to the very end and completed the game so yeah i gotta say yeah it's been amazing like seeing all these levels all over again yeah even though it's been almost 10 years since i last played the game um but now that i've uh, completed the game um for the second time um yeah i um honestly don't know if i'll be uh playing through the game ever again in the future but um yeah if i do then i'll probably just go through all 200 levels again but um um there's still some levels that I definitely do not look forward to playing. And I would just probably likely just skip them just because, you know, my um, my patience isn't that um, isn't as high as it used to be. But um, at the same time though, I could also just look up a map. Yeah. Or possibly even watch a video walkthrough as well. Because there are a couple of them that you can find on YouTube. Yeah. If you search for them with like maybe chips challenge two or walkthrough or whatever. Yeah, as your uh, keywords. Um, so yeah, I um, think uh, maybe just future playthroughs, I'll just do that, just like I did with Chips Challenge 1, yeah, when I did the Let's Play at the Steam version, uh, at the re-release. Um, so yes, uh, once again, this is Ch Chips Challenge 2, everybody. So, with this, I uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, Let's Play, or the entire thing, um, and then I'll see you guys all around for future projects slash uh, LP style I do. Um, so, I'm probably just going to take a break for like a couple of days, yeah, before I resume again. And then, uh, maybe the plan here is for me to like return to the world of new Lemmings for uh, custom Lemmings content. Yeah, there's one pack that I would like to do. Um, and it's pretty much the last in the uh, Festival Mila series, yeah. Because once I do that, then I'm, I'll am i officially be all caught up with Gigalum's packs. And then I might uh, like upload some um, solutions of um, a sampler pack that he uploaded. Yeah, it's just a 10 level one, 10 level pack. And then maybe some other custom levels I will upload as well. Yeah, the solutions too. Um, yeah, maybe one I'm thinking of is probably um, Art Lamp's Lost Pieces by Colorful Already. And then maybe some other packs too, but um, yeah, I'll think about it um, uh, during my time off from Let's Playing and everything. So yeah, I think that's this is good enough. Yeah, as I've uh, done pretty leng lengthy, I did a pretty lengthy intro and then also a pretty lengthy outro here as well. Um, although it might have been... Um, no, I think it, the length has already exceeded the intro uh, for this video. But uh, 
yeah, let's go ahead because uh, let's go ahead and stop here now because otherwise I'll just keep on rambling and then I'll never be finished. So, yes, chip sounds to you, everybody. Um, so with this, have a great day and see you guys all around.